Shalom the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. If this is your first time seeing me, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is Prayers and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please do not forget to subscribe and please do turn on your notification bell. God bless you. I would love to have you as a part of this amazing family. I would love to receive your prayer points and let's keep praying together and let's keep trusting God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, uh, this is a prophetic word for somebody. But one thing I always tell people is whenever there is a prophetic word, test her spirit behind because every prophetic word, number one, is not for you. And but it's always good to listen to God's word. Sometimes um, we might be deceived by the titles. You might look at the title and you're like, oh, probably this is not for me, but in there, there is a word that is for you. Now, the person that is posting the prophetic word, the servant of God, is not a magician to want to give always um, a kind of title that would include everything that um, he or she has spoken about, but that is why personally I always say, listen to the word. You might look at this title like, oh, this is not my situation, but there is a word in there for your situation. Because like I said, the pastor or the servant of God might not be a magician to want to just put everything on that title. But listening to God's word, like the Bible is just the Bible. Like this is the Bible and that's it. This is the Bible. Okay. Now, Bert is just titled the Bible. That's the title, the Bible. All right. So if you're like, okay, uh, if you had a better title, like another book for me to want to read it, there are things there that has to do with our lives. And you are reading it because you know how good the Bible is. And the mindset that you have about God's word, because you know how good the word of God is, always learn to listen to the word of God, always. If God puts you in that position, you have the data, you have the Wi-Fi, you have the capacity, you have the free um, chance. Why not? Hallelujah. Most of the times, um, I'm one of the people who listen to myself more. I, When I'm hearing myself minister later on, I feel... Like, really? Seriously? I feel like it's it's a different person altogether. That's how I feel because at that point is a spirit. So whatever word is coming is a spirit. The Bible says, God, when you open your mouth, the spirit is going to give you all trends. So what am I saying? Always learn. Don't choose. When you start listening and it don't, doesn't resonate with your spirit, and then you're like, okay, this is not for me. Okay? But you don't judge just like that. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, this particular word is for you. And if you've been listening to these points, then the word is really for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You messed up big time. You messed up big time. Now, my focus is not about you being messed up. My focus is not about what you did. One thing I always tell people, and one of the reasons why I've seen people comfortable coming to tell me um, their situations is that personally, I don't judge people. When you tell me about something, I'm like, let's look for the solution first before we think about the thing. Yes. Let's not, how could you, how, no. We humans, honey. So let's the moment you're telling me we're finding the solution first before we start knowing what happened. Yeah. So that's it. So you messed up greatly, and the guilt of this has been eating you hard. The guilt of this has been like it's been eating you so hard. This has been 
eating you and it's not been easy with you. It's been crazy with you. The guilt has been eating you. The Lord says you messed up and then the devil is trying to use it to manipulate your mind. The enemy is using this to manipulate your mind. Now, let me tell you, the Bible says, For all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. That is what the Bible says. For all have sinned. Now, I, I want to look for that the scripture and read it to you just in case you, you can write it somewhere. It's, it's going to help you greatly. Now, that is what the Bible says in Romans chapter 3. Romans <clears throat> chapter 3. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, goodness gracious, Lord. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Therefore, by the deeds of the Lord, there shall be no flesh justified in his sight, for by the law of knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God without the law is made manifest in Oh, I'm trying to look for that. Romans chapter 3 and verse 23. The Bible says, For all have seen and has come short of the glory of God. But before that, verse 20 started talking about the law, started talking about sin, and started talking about flesh. Now it's talking to you like this is it. You are human. It's talking to you about all this. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith in Christ, unto us all the believers. And there is no difference. And then he says, For all have seen. It has come short of the glory of God. You're human and you are a believer and you are not made perfect because the Bible says for the part of a just man is like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter onto the perfect part. You messed up so bad and the guilt keeps hanging in there and you feel so down, you don't even know what to do. God says, pick up your mat, rise up and walk again. What is the Lord saying? Dust every guilt, dust it out, and say, God has forgiven me. I'm moving on. God says, move on. I pray for you right now. The devil's grip over you is out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Pick up your mat, rise up and walk. Move on. Dust it out. Hallelujah. Now. May the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace, the shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much. I do. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom. This has been like a conversation and an all-around teaching. And I know that somebody must have been blessed by this word. And apart from this particular word, I had other things that I started saying. Let your life be a kind of life that you will not live in judgment, judging yourself always and judging people. Live a life of freedom. Don't be in a life where you're like, I want to judge this if it's for me. No. When you start it, you judge it. Okay? You don't just look at something and say, uh-uh, uh-uh. Sometimes some people do not even look physically like what you want. When you get closer to them, you will thank God that you finally got closer to them. I love you so much. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.